Hey guys, Adam of AS Trains. I got some new train stuff today. Um, it does has nothing to do with uh, toy trains or model trains or anything uh, like that, but it does have something to do with trains. But before I show you the stuff, let me go ahead and give you a story on how I got it. Um, and uh, basically, yeah, just how I got it, but also uh, how really how special these things are to me. Okay, so I actually just got home about a few um, about an hour ago or so. I was with my karate instructor and we were delivering meals uh, from my church. Uh, but the reason why I went with him is because uh, there's a lady that I know. Her husband was, uh, he, he worked for the railroad and when she found out that I liked trains, she had some uh, train related stuff to, for me. And she's a painter and um, she had painted these two pictures. They're on the same engine, but I won't tell you until I show you the uh, pictures. But she painted some paintings on one engine. Uh, one train was in 1976. The other one was in later was a few years later. And she painted the pr she painted the pictures. Then she made lithograph prints. And she sold. I, well, I don't think she sold all of them, but I know she made like a thousand of these and sold so many of them. But she gave me a pair of them for free. They came as a, um, the, there was two of them, and they came as a set. So she gave me a set for free, and oh, really, that's all there is to it. And these things, these are limited edition um, prints, and so these things are, these things can be worth some money. In which, it really, I think I shouldn't have said that, but these things are worth something. Um, and there's some other stuff to it. But anyways, here is the pictures as well as some other extras. Well, what do you guys think? This is uh, Freedom. This one's labeled a Freedom Train, and this is labeled the final run of the 2101. Yes, you have heard it. This is Reading. This is the Reading Lines uh, T1 484 number 2101. This is this one shows her when she pulled the American Freedom Train. She was repainted and decorated to represent num the America number one. And as you can see, it says American Freedom Train. Now, I, now, please note that there were more than one American Freedom train in 1976. You had the 2101, you had the 4449, you know, there was just so many. And this one, is a, as I said, this is the final run of 2101 because uh, it was uh, caught in a fire. And it was a caught in a roundhouse fire, and then that, that um, ended its uh, running capabilities. But anyways... This one is more. It, uh, these are both special to me, but this one is more special because it's got a history thing, but it's also got a little note down at the bottom. But anyways, uh, the lady's name is Margaret Townsend. This one was. Uh, this one was actually painted in 1978, but this picture uh, depicts her when she was still in sem Depicts her when she was in 76, and this one was painted in 1980. So, I'm gonna go ahead and read the caption. Uh, I'm going to read this little history thing, and then I'll get to the little note that she wrote down at the bottom. The American Freedom Train and the final run of 2101. Or, oh, actually, no, excuse me. This one actually, this caption depicts both of them. On March 28, 1976, the steam-powered American Freedom Train, a national bicentennial project, project, left Alexandria, Virginia, for a journey for 17,000 miles in more than 100 communities and cities in the 48 continuous states to bring to the American people a portrayal of the achievement of their country for the past 200 years. The Freedom Train consisted of a steam locomotive that was 2101 and a tender, plus 25 cars including 10 exhibit and 2 showcase cars. More than 500 original documents, art, treasures, and memorabilia were on display. In early spring 1979, steam engine number 2101, which had been restored to pull the American Freedom Train and later the Chessie System Special, was in a roundhouse fire at Silver Grove, Kentucky, which destroyed operating capabilities of this famed engine. See, what did I tell you? Now repainted in the American Freedom Train colors, engine 2101 was donated to the B&O Railroad Museum in Baltimore at ceremonies on Labor Day, September 3, 1979. The painting of the Freedom Train was done on location and from photographs taken where this famed engine was in Huntington, West Virginia on June 23, 1976. 
The painting of the Chessy System special titled Final Run of the 2101 has a location passing through green wait wait a minute passing through green up can uh sorry uh green up county Kentucky with the Ohio River in the background. Lithograph prints 18 by 24 of these paintings are limited edition prints 1000 only signed and numbered prints will be sold. So this is uh this these are lithograph prints but she does have the she still has the original paintings. And at the bottom this caption here or this little note she gave me says presented to Adam Swindell 31714 which that was actually last Monday with best wishes for his future in the railroading industry Margaret Townsend. So she lives in my town. Yes, you heard it folks. She lives in my town and she has sold many of these things so it's pretty cool that the painter the original painter lives in my town and I got these for free so these things are staying with me for as long as I live the second thing she also gave me which is train related was this 1998 steam trains ca uh, calendar it's got many steam trains uh, in fact actually that's the cover photo so uh, that's a Husky Duluth Masabi and Iron Range steamer pu pushes loaded ore cars in helper service. You know, and I also got another one of these tapes. I actually already got this one, but I'm keeping this particular one. The Great Canadian Train Ride. Pretty cool. So yeah, these uh, two lithograph prints are really the main point of this video, in which. I am so glad I got these because it's just so cool that I got these for free. But also, the the uh, the original painter and the original paintings live in my hometown. Isn't that something? I have actually looked this up. Um, I found this one on the internet, and it's actually being sold on an online auction, or at least I think it was. I mean, that maybe it was just a a page that has stayed up or something. But apparently, but there's. Like, um, which it's not surprising, but these things are all over the country. Both these prints. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I mean, I am, I, <laughs> I'm just here. I hear me prattling on like a little schoolgirl. These are, these are just so cool. So, anyways, once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, and if you want to subscribe. That's it for now. I'm Am Swindell, and I'll see you next time.